Humanoids, built to look like us, move like us. Only difference, they don't complain about bloody Mondays. One robot hands you a latte, smiling so convincingly you forget it's synthetic. Another sweeps up our mess like it's sacred duty. You might think that in 50 years we'll have robots making our coffee, robots walking beside us. But the truth is, the future of robotics isn't held back by imagination. It's held back by reality. Looking back at your era, robots like Boston Dynamics Atlas were impressive athletes, running, jumping, flipping. On the other hand, Optimus, Tesla's humanoid robot for physical tasks carrying objects up to 20 to 45 kilograms, but they acted only as programmed. Sophia and Emeka could speak and emote, yet their expressions were simulations, not understanding. In 2025, humanoids are still clumsy. Copying the human body isn't just a technical challenge. It's a nightmare of balance, perception, coordination, and common sense. On top of that, they drain batteries insanely fast and cost more than a small apartment. I've seen them all develop and get better and better. Now, in the year 2070, robots crush concrete with a single strike, lift tons with ease, sprint faster than the fastest humans, and learn without pause. They have advanced sensory systems, cameras, microphones, synthetic skin for touch, to perceive the world like humans. Actuators replicate human movement, mimicking muscles and joints, and AI software allows them to make decisions, interact, and learn. In 45 years, most humanoids are still machines, metal, motors, circuits. But some labs push the boundaries, Biohybrids with synthetic, even living, muscle. Tissue that flexes, senses and responds like ours. Fluid, perceptive, yet instinct, emotion, and the beautiful mistakes that shape human life. Still ours alone. What comes next isn't about bodies anymore. It's about the intelligence behind the movement, about how that mind works and what happens when it doesn't align with us.